Oh my good I dropped my sock, but that doesn't matter. At least not at this juncture. Ugh. Do a little bit of twisting action. Oh, that's right. We're gonna hit our filming equipment because we definitely know what we're doing here. Bits of oh god. God, how many times can I possibly bump this fucking camera stand while I'm doing this? God damn it! Ugh. Am I doing this the wrong way? Oh, it's so fucked up and bent now. Shit. Oh well. Oh, fuck it. What's up, everybody? It is me, Crazy Plays, and I am back with yet another gun cleaning video. The last one actually did surprisingly well and even brought in a few new subscribers, so thank you very much for that. And again, I want to give a huge heartfelt thank you to all of you that are coming into the channel, subscribing and sticking around for the absolute hog shit quality content that I put out every week and I really, really appreciate you guys giving me the time of day. And today is actually gonna be a pretty necessary video because this is a gun that I've had for about six years and I don't think I've cleaned this thing once in that entire six years that I've had it. So, without further ado, we are gonna clean my Taurus 85. So, stick around. Alrighty. Oh, it's time for us to get to it. Very nice, very simple and inexpensive Taurus 85 also known as the protector poly as it is a mostly polymer framed revolver the only real metal internals are parts of the frame the trigger grouping and the mechanisms inside and the cylinder and the barrel now to verify obviously the cylinders are empty I'm not trying to have us a uh, awesome youtube gun tuber accident here and time for us to start disassembling it. So really the only things that need to be cleaned out on revolvers like this are the barrel and the cylinder itself. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how this comes apart and how you clean those. It's time for the giant tool kit. Uh-oh, my spidey senses are telling me this is upside down. There we go. Oh yeah, all the tools that you could need. Now, I think I'm just gonna grab my little ratcheting screwdriver. That's always nice. I believe, looking for something to fit that guy right there. So I'm thinking this one. Yeah, perfect, we use that. And what else does this need? Oh yeah, our magnetic tool tray. Oh, and it's stuck to the screwdriver. It's a good ass magnet. And I think that's it. I think we'll need our Leatherman. I'll bring that up here in a second. Alrighty, so always verify that the gun is actually empty. The nice thing about revolvers is you can look into the cylinder and see the barrel. There are no obstructions. See? Look at that finger. All right. Let's tear this baby apart. So we'll start off with our screwdriver. Now the one thing I don't like is I've noticed that both of my pistols seem to have set screws that are right in front of the barrel. which really kind of makes me uncomfortable. Let's see here. Make sure that is all the way freed. Nice little screw. Now, go ahead and we take our thumb, our, our cylinder release, push it forward. That swivels out and then we just separate it. 
set the barrel and the frame there. Now we've got our cylinder. As you can see, that thing is nasty. So, we're gonna disassemble, clean this bad boy up, and we get our handy dandy Leatherman. Now, this is reverse threaded, so instead of going lefty loosey, you go righty tighty. Now, if you have one of these, be very careful when you do this part of the disassembly. You're going to see why in a second. So we loosen this. And that slides out. Focus. Look at what is in my hand. Here, hold on. Yeah, there you go. So now you've got your cylinder pin with a little threaded in there. That really does not need to be cleaned. Now, here's the sketchy part. Ooh, you can already feel it. As you can see, there are some bits and pieces in there. So, just very carefully. There's a pin and a tiny spring. Do not lose these or else the gun is going to suck to operate. I'm actually going to put those in the magnetic dish just because that just seems smarter. Now we have our cylinder. Now this, focus, come on, you can do it camera. Uh, let's see, let me try touching you. There we go. So this little star shaped thing here is your ejector. You just grab that and just gently slide it out. Oh no. And then we drop it on the floor like a professional. See, it's got your, those little fins that are used to rotate your cylinder. And those two holes that you see allow you to put it in, in the correct timing and position. If you look right there, there's two little pins that match up with it. So got your cylinder, you got this, which you don't really need to clean. So we're just going to set that right over there and you've got your barrel slash frame as you can see I've got quite a bit of unburnt powder in there and that barrel is kind of nasty looking I wish I could show you from the back side but that's not really gonna work uh, yeah there you go you can actually kind of see all the crap that is built up inside of that barrel. Oh, time to get scrubbing. So we set that, I'll put this right over here. We don't need that right now. Set that right there. And we pull out the trusty rusty gun cleaning kit. Ta-da. So since this revolver is in 38 special, you can see we've got our 38 caliber brush, so we'll need that. We will need our larger size handle. Grab, I'd say maybe one or two of these. Grab out two. And I believe this is the appropriate mop. It says 35 probably work for the 38 just fine and the trusty rusty sock I believe that's everything so now let's get all this other junk out of the way I'm gonna bring out what is this I don't have a 45 but I'm gonna use this brush all right close that up and we've got Seal one, cleaner, lubricant, and protectant. This stuff is actually pretty good. All right, let's get our bits. Of oh God, gracefully, gracefully done. Get everything set up nicely. Let's get to it.
So I guess we'll start off with our cylinder, because this thing is absolutely disgusting. Just have to rotate this little arbor around to get through to everything. Unless it comes out. Oh, it does not. You can see. Actually, wait, I think I can use my little pads here to help light it up. It's a little gunky. It's got some carbon buildup on there. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy cleaned up. Well, I probably won't even have to use my handle. I'll probably just do it by hand, just like this. Alright. Open this. And huh, huh. Not gonna get the goo on us like we did in the last video. That was kind of gross. And just get on in there. Oh, oh, and I can't get it to come back out, so it looks like we're gonna have to use the handle. There we go. Focus. Air. Do a little bit of twisting action. Oh, that's right. We're gonna hit our filming equipment because we definitely know what we're doing here. Ugh. Do it to all five cylinders. And yes, you're going to get a little bit of this on your hands as you're doing it. Let's do that. Did we do three yet? I don't know. I'm gonna double check this first one just to be safe. That's one, two, three. Go four. Move that out of the way. Try to get some of my guns clean and stuff back. And we'll hit that number five. That's right, hit the camera again. Everybody loves hearing that lovely impact noise on the mic. Ah. Alright. See, we got that pretty good. Set that down. Yeah, take our brush off. Set that down. There we go. Got our little gun cleaning pad here. And we thread the needle. There we go. Get some of this excess off of here. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be gross by the time we're done. Well, let's get that face scrubbed off a little bit. Ugh. Boy, I hope this stuff comes off. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's coming off. Kind of want to use a different brush for this. Ugh, my nose itches. Ugh. That stuff is burnt on there. Jesus. No, well, some of it's coming off. I wonder if it'll help if I go in there a little bit. Eh, it seems to have done something. Yeah, let's just keep hitting the camera, because everybody likes that. Ooh. Look at that piece of lead. That's great. I don't want to know how that got there. Let's just wipe that off. No, get off my finger. There we go. Back to the scrubbing. Let's 
It's actually looking considerably better. God, how many times can I possibly bump this fucking camera stand while I'm doing this? Definitely gonna have to run that gun cleaning pad through here again. Oh my god, there's copper on there from the brush. Okay. I think that's actually looking pretty decent. Alright, set that back down. You know, maybe I shouldn't use the pad that's got the giant piece of lead on it. Oh yeah, so oily. Although maybe I'd be able to wipe this thing out better if I had more material to wipe with. face off a little bit see if that helps clear it up got some burn got some little rings right there but that's really not that bad it's a revolver it doesn't have to be perfect Ugh, god I got so much oil on the outside of this eh, it's time it's sock time got to get some of this off God, let me wipe my hands off too. Jesus. Oh, fuck, I hit that thing really hard. God damn it. I have to title this one, How Many Times Can I Hit the Camera Stand While Filming? Look, I did it again. <clears throat> I'm absolutely hopeless. There's still some on there. Ooh. Got a little nick right there. I didn't notice that before. I'm gonna just ignore that and go about having a happy life. There we go. That's much better. Wipe off the spindle. There we go, it's actually pretty decent. Okay. Let's see, can I run the mop through by hand without putting the handle on it? There we go. Let me get any excess oils off. Now, look at how nice and clean that cylinder is looking. Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh my god, that's a piece of metal. Hold on, let me see if I can get that out of there. There we go. Nice and clean. Oh yeah. That's done. Alright. <clears throat> the only thing left now is that dirty ass barrel. Which it's uh it's pretty gross. There's copper in there from firing at the range. Yeah, look at that. That is a very dirty barrel. We are gonna fix that. So, just do the same shit that we did for the cylinder. Throw our brush on. Yeah, 
throw a little goop on there. Have at it. I dropped my sock, but that doesn't matter. At least not at this juncture. Ugh. God damn it! It's actually looking pretty decent now. Let's see here. Oh, let's see what wiping it out does. Waste not, want not. Let's just get that piece of metal out of there. It is. I don't really like how big that is. I was gonna set that on the table. Oh god, these things are gross. Let's try and get two of them to fit through at the same time. There we go. Oh my. Give it a little spin. Very coppery for some reason. I hope that's not unusual. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. Focus. You know what? I have to touch you. Yeah, you can see that. It looks all coppery in there. I don't know. since it's got a ton of gun cleaning stuff on it now. <clears throat> Let's clean off some of these back spaces in here. Nice and oily. I'm gonna try and get some of this unburnt powder off of here if I can. Okay, it's not looking too horrible. I think I'm gonna need the handle for this mop. Ooh. Oh, it's tight. That is very tight. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Oh, and now it's stuck. Can't get it to come out the other way. I think I bent it. That's probably what happened. Oh my god. I totally just fucked up this mop. Oh whoops. It's just gonna I'm just gonna straighten that out a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about that. Good in there. Why is that so tight? Ugh. Do I have a different size mop? Am I doing this the wrong way? Let's just double check that real quick. What is this? Yeah? That's supposed to be the right sized one. It, uh, it does not seem to like it though. Oh, it's so fucked up and bent now. Shit. Oh well. Let's try to fucking. That thing will not go down that barrel. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to use a smaller one and just fucking swab it out. Is there something wrong with this one? Good old 22 caliber fucking mop. There we go. No muss, no fuss, no coconuts. That 
that's nice. Yeah. All right, how's that looking now? Oh yeah. What is that? Oh, it's just fuzz. Not to worry, it is just a little bit of fuzz. Look at that fucking barrel. Ooh, that's nice. And sock time again, because we got to get all this excess oil off of here. This thing is a mess now. Oops, sorry. I keep bumping this damn camera. Alrighty. And that's pretty much all you got to clean on a revolver. Ugh. I'm sorry. I keep bumping this thing. Alright. Move all this out of the way. Because now... It's time to get this thing reassembled again. So, easiest way to do this, honestly, is take this. And you gotta go ahead and take this little tiny spring. And you stick it in there. Boop. And then, you gotta take this equally. Oh wait, no, that's incorrect. Don't listen to me. Yeah. Pay attention to what the gun looks like when you're disassembling it. Because if you notice, there's a hole in the middle of that star that wasn't there before. And this pin happens to be the same size as that hole. But it does not go in like this. You take it, you slide it out, you flip it around, and then, through the power of depth perception, you stick it right back in the hole, just like so. If I can get it to fall down a little bit. Now, oh, fuck it. Now, you take that tiny spring, and you stick it down in there, right after it. Now, keep everything oriented upwards. You take your star, and you look for those pins. I'm just going to plug this hole with my finger so I don't lose anything. And if you see, pins are matched up. And it slides right into place, just like it should. Perfect. Now, take your plunger. Just stick that down in there. This is reverse threaded, so it's not righty tighty, it's actually lefty tighty. Should go right in there. You'll see. Oh, let me show you that. If you actually look, you'll see that pin start to poke out just a little bit. That's right, it's lefty tighty. See it? Yeah, it's sticking out. That is that spring tension. Purpose of that is when you want to eject your shells, you just push on this and boop, shits out your shells for you. So you don't have to sit there and try and pluck them out one by one because that's really no fun. All right, make sure that's nice and tight. Double check it. Just a little bit, just a little snug. Do not want to over tighten it. Now, take this, take this. You can see this just slides right into place, just like that. Hold it upwards, put our screw in. This actually has a pin portion of it, so it'll help guide everything and line it all up. Use this. And you tighten it. It'll give you a little resistance, but nothing crazy. And bump the camera for the millionth time. Now, snug it a little bit. That's it, just a tad. And if it all worked out, you should just have to 
just like that. Now, for those of you ever wondering what the difference between a single action and a double action is, this is a double action. So, I could either finger on the trigger, pull it, and you see that hammer come back, and it also rotates your cylinder, firing it. Or, I actually really like this one, you take the fucking hammer, and you pull it back. That trigger just moved back, which also makes your trigger pull really light and you just breathe on it and it drops your hammer home that is a double action because you have one action here and you have this action here a single action I could pull on this all day long and it wouldn't work unless this is drawn back and then there's tension on the trigger when this is cocked and there you have it this is my revolver. I have not cleaned it once in the six years I've had it, and today was the day it got cleaned. I gotta finish wiping off this oil though. It's it's kinda it's kinda slippery and I don't want it to be too slippery. And I guess as a little bonus. This is a 22 caliber round. Zoom in on that. This is a 38 special. Zoom in on it again. And that. Oh, God. Ugh. Is why I like carrying the 38 special as my EDC. Because it also comes with cool. Oop. Spicy boy bullets like this Hydro Shock. Got a nice expansion zone in there. Casing's crimped. This thing is awesome. Ugh. Professional YouTubing. And there you have it. My Taurus 85. Thank you guys so much for joining in and watching this. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, this is how legends play. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a nice night.